Hello family, friends, people of the internet. Thank you for tuning in again to this week's video on my channel. And as you can tell by the title, I am dyeing my hair purple. I have two jars of Manic Panic Purple Haze. And I also have one jar of Ultraviolet only because they didn't have another jar of this. So I said, you know what? It's semi-permanent. It washes out if it looks like absolute shit when I'm done. I don't really care. It's hair. It's going to fix itself at some point. Whatever. So I am not bleaching my hair or lightening it. This is just my hair now. It's very like orangey and gross or whatever. I've been dyeing my hair for a very long time and I've taken a break from dyeing my hair for actually a really long time. So I kind of just let it chill out for a little bit and it's orange which you probably can't really tell but in the light it's orange and I hate it so I always wanted to dye my hair purple and I said you know what let's use manic panic so hair dyeing videos are one of my favorite videos and one of the like most viewed videos that like I watch me and my friend used to sit and watch hair dyeing videos all the time so I figured since it's one of my favorite videos to make and I'm actually dyeing my hair I will film myself dyeing my hair so Keep watching if you want to see me probably fail, and if the title is titled fail, then I failed, but yeah. Okay. Here we freaking go. Here we freaking go. part I guess almost as a vlog type of thing I guess you could say so I did my hair 
on Thursday or Friday, and it's actually the following Wednesday. I wanted to um, wait a couple days before I finished the outro of the video so I could show you kind of what it looks like after a couple of days. It's kind of hard to tell in here because the lighting is so harsh in here, but it is very purple. It's very eggplanty, I guess you could say. Um, it reminds me a lot of the color of an eggplant. So if that's something that you are looking to go for, it looks very dark in like bad lighting, but in like somewhat good lighting, you can definitely tell that it's purple and it's not like black or whatever, which it looks like in, ter in really bad lighting. I just uh, re-watched the footage that I just shot a couple minutes ago, and it looks really like pinky and red and it's not I honest to God promise you it's just the lighting in my bathroom the lighting in my bathroom sucks but this is the only lighting that I could get that could show you like actual color in my hair and not just like dark hair because it is like a dark dark eggplant purple I promise you I will try and take some pictures so I can insert it but it is a very dark I keep my mirrors over there so that's why I keep looking it's a very dark eggplant purple and when you're in light you can see that it's purple I promise you it's not this like pinky like whatever color so I just didn't want people to get like turned off because it looks pink it's really really not it's honestly just the lighting in my bathroom this does kind of show you the color a little bit better of what it actually looks like this is in my room with like the really natural like lighting um that bathroom lighting is very like yellow and orangey toned so I think the lighting mixed with the color that it is kind of made it look like really pink or like magenta or almost like red it was like really not the color and also ignore the like white line that's probably across my forehead I literally can't find like a good spot to film where there's not a white line across my forehead more or less um the color in a different lighting um that's the cool thing with doing cool colors um whether you do purple or you do actually you do pink or you do blue or you do green or whatever certain um colors are gonna look different in certain lighting and i think that's what i love about doing like hair like colors like that is that you know you could step into one room and it'll look like something but then you can step into another room and it'll look like a different thing it's like very different and cool so like I said I highly highly recommend this and if you're like on the fence about doing it just do it who gives a shit it's hair it's gonna you know fix itself it's semi-permanent vegan hair dye so it's gonna wash out after a while if for some reason you really don't like it you can always dye it back or you know it's eventually gonna wash out a really good tip for a lot of people that necessarily don't like the color and they want to wash it out um, a little bit faster than it normally would if you just wanted to like normally wash it out you can take some warm olive oil and put it in your hair overnight and kind of wrap it in a towel and then wake up in the morning and shampoo it out and that'll kind of help to slick the color off a little bit um just a, a tip from me to you not that I'm a hairdresser or anything um but just something that I've learned with hair colors that that helps to kind of get it out a little bit quicker um you're not going to see results right then and there but you will see results a lot faster of it fading and washing out than it would if you just normally were to wash it out. So with all that being said, I will see you all on Friday in two days with another new video. Two videos from me this week. I've been slacking so I'm going to get right back into the grind and I will see you all in a couple days. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.